Hi everyone, this is Gail at Gail Julie Makes. I hope you're all well and I hope you've managed to get a bit of crafting time in. Um, I'm back with another video. This is uh, more or less like a part two really to a previous video that I did on using alcohol inks with um, hand sanitizer on the gel plate. So we had some nice results in that one. I just wanted to kind of um, pick up on some further techniques really. So it's, it's just expanding this idea really and um, if you haven't seen the original video, I will pop a link bottom left to it at the end of the video so you can go back and watch that um, or you could go back and, and do a quick search for it now before you watch this one. But um, this one will explain it as well so don't worry too much about not understanding what I'm talking about. So um, this is one of the pieces that I produce in the video. Um, I've kind of um, did this separately so I've got this picture for you already and this one here as well and this is what the effect that we get on the rice paper so the things that we're going to need so I'll just move these out of the way the things that we're going to need for this are obviously we need the hand gel we need some alcohol inks I've got a few ranger ones there and some of my favorite colors we've got our um, six inch round gel plate now I've got a blending tool with some um, felt tops there, that's going to be used with our alcohol lift ink, okay, so it's important that we have the alcohol lift ink. I've just got a few extra sponges there to uh, put the alcohol ink on with, so I'll move this rice paper out of the way. Now the reason I've got a piece of card under my gel plate I've explained in previous videos, so some of you probably already know, is that I like to, if I'm making cards, I like to make sure I've got... I've got that lined up underneath so if I'm placing a card on top then it will more or less be in the centre. If I do it without that card underneath it's all over the place so uh, it's just a little tip. Okay we're going to need a brayer. Okay so um, tricky this with the brayers. Now when we're putting the hand gel on it can um, reactivate things that are on our plate so we've got to try and make sure our plate is clean really so I will give it a bit of a clean in between each one with some hand gel as well. So the other things that I've got to use today um, just to, as a bit of an experiment are some stencils. So I've got a few stencils here, um, various designs. I have not got a clue which ones I will be using. I don't, I'm not going to get through them all today but um, you know we'll we'll give it a go i do like this finna bear one i may have a go with this one this one's called mind games um i do like the fact that it's sort of part part text part blocks so that might be an interesting look and then we've got their lace one as well um so i may be using those ones i'm not sure another thing that might be interesting is a skeleton leaf um so this is something that i picked up from a craft shop okay so it may work well, it may go completely wrong, I have no idea, so we'll give it a go. Okay, so first step that we're going to do is I'm going to basically check that my plate is clean. Because I have used alcohol inks on it recently, obviously, and I've also used the um, element inks, which are very juicy. So I'm going to give that a bit of a rub with some alcohol ink, just to make sure I'm getting any excess colours off there. Not that I'll be able to tell because I've got a very grubby piece of uh, kitchen roll there or paper towel. Okay so this bit of footage now is um, for one of the pictures that I showed you right at the start of the video that I'd already uh, filmed basically. So I've just added some hand sanitizer onto the gel plate. I've just started brayering it out. Now this is where I came across that ink that was obviously left on my plate that it was reactivating. So I'm just trying to get a bit of that colour off and then I'm going to go in with my alcohol inks. We're going to use some of the Ranger alcohol inks today and I'm just going to get them on my plate and then I'm going to put stencil over the top as well so I'm just going to see how because we've used the hand gel it's um, it's moving it around a little bit more so it just means it's not sort of straight away sticking to the plate. So, right, so I need to get some alcohol lifting on the end of this. That there probably hasn't got as much tan gel on, so it's just sort of staying as it is. I'm going to pop some on, dab some on the end, just little circles. Pop the lid back on that because it is quite pungent. Recommend ventilating the room. And I'm just going to splodge, splodge it out like that so we've got a bit of an effect. Okay. Right, let's get some off onto my brayer sheet there, so it's not going to be, not always going to be orange. 
that's forming quite a nice pattern in itself actually so we'll, we'll have a think about whether we need the stencil then I'm going to put in some some um, eggplant on this side okay and because it's darker color this will be fine because we've got the um, we have got the the honeycomb still showing on there when we dab it off but because this is a darker color I don't think it's going to be a problem okay so that's very subtle that's really subtle made that purple so much more subtle hasn't it okay so I'm happy with that in fact I might just go over it a tiny bit more make some areas a little bit darker yeah I like I'm liking that that's nice okay so happy with that so then we're going to go in with some green at the bottom okay so this is sorry I say green it's patina okay and we're going to make sure that's spreading quite well on its own isn't it I'll just dab some of that in and then I'm just going to go over the top again like that effect there I might actually leave that like that maybe just get those edge bits there okay maybe just dumb them down a little bit like that right so and then I think what I'm going to do with this bit here is um I was thinking about doing the rust I suppose I could do yeah let's do the rust let's see what I'm just think sort of thinking what's going to be behind, be behind it so I don't want this to be really overpowering so I'm just going to try one little dab for now that's going in with more green isn't it so we need to make sure we've got a lot of that off our okay so we definitely need to go in with a bit more rust Right. right so let's yeah that's better it's just oh no that was the honeycomb <laughs> oh dear hold on bear with me okay right we've got a bit of rust i thought they look such a similar color because it is the same color again okay, that's why okay right happy with that okay so i'm loving that so much i'm almost tempted to just take a print of that to be honest rather than putting stencil over the top so I did decide to go ahead and do that and this was the result that I got. Now the great thing obviously about using the hand sanitizer is the fact that most of us have got this in our homes at the moment. So you know it shouldn't be too difficult to come by. And what that hand sanitizer does really is it lays um, like a base for your alcohol inks to um, to sort of you know move about on basically like they would on UPO paper. I have got some UPO paper with me today, so I will uh, maybe do a demo with that a bit later as well if we've got time. So first things first. So we've rubbed that. We've made sure our plate's clean. Now we're going to go back in again with the hand gel, guys. So I'm going to just now. It doesn't have to be too thick. Um, just as long as we've got a layer sort of finely across now I did previously have some nice pink hand gel that didn't really it didn't affect the actual sort of final piece but it was a nice pink for you to be able to see it properly but I've used it all up and I can't get it again unfortunately it was a limited edition one you'll see that in my other video okay so we've got that there I've got a brayer and off sheet at the side there I'm just going to give that a wipe okay right so now we've got our base ready so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of my alcohol inks onto the plate. I've got some new colours. My new colours are citrus, I've got peach bellini and I've got pool. Okay, so we'll give, I think I'm going to give these a bit of a go. So I just basically, it's a bit weird, the end's a bit broken. Oh well, hopefully it'll be okay. Let's see how we go. There we go. So I'm just going to lay some of that on. Okay, so that's my citrus. And then I've got some peach bellini. I thought I'd go for some lighter colours. Um, one of my 
YouTube followers, um, a lady who's got a channel called Paper and Twine, she said, because I was anxious about using them at first, I wasn't keen on them, because they can produce quite muddy colours, but she suggested using lighter colours, so thank you for that darling, I'll, uh, um, I'll, get, I'll take your advice and we'll see how we get on, okay, so... I hope you're watching this video by the way I bet you are and um, is your cat crafting with you today I wonder so I've got a bit of my favorite honeycomb color in there so I can't you can't help but use it can you okay I'm just going to go in a bit more with the peach bellini so yeah a lot of us have the uh, pets don't we that kind of get a bit stroppy about our crafting I certain my cat certainly does she'd love to just sit on me 24 7 if she could Okay, so we've got um, we've got our alcohol ink on there. Now what I do is, I just get a clean felt top. I place some alcohol ink, sorry, alcohol lift ink, I should say, onto the end of my um, blending tool there. Okay, and then I just give it a bit of a, a bit of a dab. This just creates some more interesting patterns. Now that peach bellini seems very light, doesn't it? Okay, so I'm not sure. And then I'm just going to dab that off at the side there because um, we want to be able to reuse that. So I tend to go in for my lighter colours first and then go over the darker one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my leaf uh, first. I have no idea, like I say, how this is going to turn out. And we might have to do it with something darker. And I'm just going to go over, I'm going to use a piece of rice paper this time that I've already started printing on with this technique. And I'm just going to lay it on and give it a bit of a rub. Okay, so we'll really sort of press that leaf in. I don't really want to brayer it. I mean, you could brayer it. I don't really want to do that. Okay, we'll see how it comes out. Right, so that's our rice paper so far okay so we've got a bit of leaf detail there and i'm going to take my leaf off now obviously we've got a nice colored leaf now too so we could use that in collage and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use some of my alcohol lift ink again because that there's not much actually left there to play with it's going to be drying really quickly so i'm going to put some of my alcohol lift ink around the edge and i'm going to bring that down over that print don't need to spray it too many times and I'm going to lift that onto a piece of card I think this is going to be quite a sort of ghost ghost style print okay so you see how I'm just lining my, my plate up in the middle there and I'm popping that down now if you're using the alcohol lifting you need to do it pretty quickly I've probably chatted for too long there really but it does dry very quickly so if you want to get a decent print sorry my camera's going a bit mad because of my my rub in there um yeah just get just get it your piece of card on it quick to pick it up okay so let's see what we've got we've got a very faint print there but you can pick up some of those leaf details which i like okay so um i think this would work really well with actual you know if you go out and pick up some actual leaves um appropriate times in the year obviously at the minute there's a lot of uh there's a lot probably still a few leaves around but they're probably um going a bit slimy now so a, a good technique you can use is you can pick them and put them in the freezer so you could try that i learned that from uh, somebody i watched recently called art archaeologist so you could try that okay next thing we're going to do then is um Okay, we're going to make sure the plate's clean again. I can still see a few remnants of the um, the colours there. So yeah, the light colours do work well for your ghost prints, but um, it's tricky, isn't it, getting the right colour combinations? Because there's so many beautiful alcohol ink colours out there, and it's like, you know, when you're on a limited budget... <laughs> so you've got to try and work out what you want to buy them for and then um, you want the whole lot really don't you oh right okay so next one I'm going to try um, so again we need some more alcohol ink on our plate okay. 
I am going to try another technique with the alcohol lifting, um, which I might give you a teaser of at the end of this video because I'm going to do it in a separate video. So there we go. So we've got our alcohol ink on the plate, and this time I think I'm going to use that that mind game stencil I was talking about. Sorry, I've got to open it. I do like to try and keep the thinner bare ones in their covers, but I don't always manage it. So this is the, sorry, wrong way around. So this is Mind Games, okay, so really unusual stencil. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the darker colours on this one. So I'm going to go for my eggplant. Can you see how the alcohol, uh, sorry, the hand gel is making that spread out like it would on Yupo paper? Because it's that sort of, um, obviously Yupo paper is synthetic. So it makes it move across the page um, a little bit easier. But also you can use your blending solution, obviously. This one, obviously the um, the alcohol in the hand gel is, um, is helping it move around. So I've got um, eggplant. Let's go for a bit of the... I do really like this citrus one, actually. I think that's lovely. Okay, a bit of citrus then. And I, the, obviously the quicker you can get all this down the better and I'm going to go in with some patina okay and then I think I'm going to go back in with a bit more of the eggplant down the bottom there so yeah the quicker you can move this around the better so I'm not going to get any of the blending solution out at the moment because I'd have to open the window and everything and like because uh, these you know these can be quite pungent but obviously you could use your blending solution and just, you know, squirt that over the top and ma manipulate it around how you want to a bit more. So we've got that. So I'm just focusing on using this tool today, which is quite simple. So we put a bit a bit more of the um, alcohol lifting on the end of our... Obviously you can do it in splodges, you can do it in little drops, you can do a pattern. And then we're just going to get it moved around. And one thing I didn't do this time is I didn't go for the lighter colours first. So I'm actually moving a bit of that purple, that eggplant around onto other areas. Okay, so, you know, it depends what technique you want, really. It depends what the, sorry, what, what effect you want at the end of it. So I'm just going to pop a bit more eggplant on. Okay. And I'm going to pop a little bit more of the um, pattern on as well. In fact, I'm liking how it's pulling, so let's just go for all of those same colours again. But we'll have the pulling effect on top this time, okay? So I'm liking that. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to get my stencil on there. Obviously, we've, we've done a bit of a pattern, a mottled pattern in the background. I'm going to get my stencil on there. Uh, let's go for there. Okay, press it down and I'm going to use again my, I'm going to use this one actually. So a piece of rice paper, I've already got a bit of a design on there from the previous work. And I'm going to start picking it up in different areas. I like, I like, I like the idea of getting it on as much as I can onto the rice paper because... Um, obviously I want to use this in collage further down the line so you may see a print um, well you may see a piece of work with this on okay bit up there as well there we go and obviously I want to make sure I'm getting as much off as I can because I want to try and um, Make sure I'm getting some of those words coming through. So I'm just pressing, pressing onto the words a bit more. Okay, so that's uh, come out quite nicely now. Uh, let's pull that off. There we go, so we've got a nice effect there. I'm just going to see if I can get any, let's put this to the side, see if I can get any actually off my stencil. I do love the way these make, I'm just going to bray it off. Oh, sorry about my squeaky brayer. Um, yeah, so we've got a bit of an effect coming through there, look, from our stencil. See that? Nice. I do like the way it makes stencils look, though. I think they look ever so pretty when they've been uh, stained by alcohol ink. Okay, right, so we've got our 
hair remnants there and I'm going to, I'm not going to talk for as long this time. I'm just going to pull, <laughs> okay. So I'm going to find my card. There's my card. I did get my, for any of those who've been watching my videos regularly, I did get my card stock, as you can tell. And I'm going to spread that round. I may actually go all the way around the edge just so I make sure I get all of it, okay. Yeah, so if you're using all this sort of stuff, guys, do do open your window because it is, like I say, quite pungent. Now, I've rubbed that a bit too much. I've probably put too much alcohol in, uh, lift ink on there and it's kind of smudged, but I kind of like that, to be honest. So, okay, so I'm laying it down quicker. I'm going to give it a rub. Sorry, camera's going berserk. Okay. and we're getting that sort of effect mm, I'm liking that really really nice so that's come out really well really pleased with that one so again we're going to just make sure our plate is clean and I think I might just do one more quick one with my skeleton leaf okay so clean that plate down and then we're going to do a bit more alcohol ink. I know we just rubbed it off, but we wanted to get that in case there was a layer of... Uh, just rubbing my brayer off as well. I wanted to make sure there wasn't a layer of the alcohol ink. Also, we pulled most of it off, so there wouldn't, generally isn't, but it does happen quite a lot. You think there's no elements ink on there, and then it comes out, pulls your last colour really easily. Okay, so we've, we've got that ready. So again, I'm going to go for some of the darker colours this time for this skeleton leaf. Okay, there we go. I'm not so worried about getting the whole circle this time because I want to um, do this on another, on a kind of a straight piece of card basically. So I'm just going to move that around a bit. I know it's not straight now with the plastic but that's fine and then we'll go for we'll go for a bit of rust actually because we haven't used the rust this time okay and this time I'm not actually going to use that blending down you know the blending tool to sort of add that pattern I'm just going to go straight over with that and I'm going to use another piece of rice paper this time this is one I've got here from a previous one again and I'm just gonna go for I go for that in the middle. I will brayer it this time actually, see if that has any gives us a better effect. I'm not sure if it will, it may move it around too much. Okay, so there we go, we've got that sort of effect there. I'm gonna take that off. It's very fine, it's very fine, so I don't know how well this one's going to turn out, we'll see. And again we use some of our alcohol lifting. Top there, put a little bit less on this time. Oh, you can see my fingerprints in that one this time. I don't mind that. Okay. I don't mind that at all. And again we've got a more colourful flower this time as well. Flower leaf what went about <laughs> okay okay interesting so we've got that sort of effect this time so you can see a little bit of fine detail from the leaf not much but like I say if you've got I think if you've got chunkier leaves um that aren't quite as delicate I think that will come out quite well so happy with that now the one I did say I was going to do a bit of a teaser didn't I at the end of this video for um for the next video so I'm just going to clean my plate again now the teaser is basically I have got where is it I've buried everything I've got an alcohol lift ink pad, okay, as well as the uh, bottle. And I've got some uh, some foam stamps from Tim Holtz. 
and the idea is I am going to lay some alcohol ink at the um, on the base using the hand gel again and I am going to um, basically lift off some shapes okay so I can use those I can use rubber stamps um, I'm actually not going to do it now because um, what I wanted to do just remembered was I wanted to show you this technique quickly on the UPO paper okay so we, we'll move our plate out the way and I'll show you so this is the UPO card this is this particular set is from Lavinia Stamps and these are A5 sheets so it's a synthetic card ultra smooth that allows you to use your your alcohol links on it okay so I have got just find it sorry I don't think I was going to be doing this actually so I'll kind of like move oh I've got I'm organized I've got it right next to me I forgot I'd organized everything so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the window Make sure you open the window if you're using the blending solution. So I've got my blending solution, which is from this one. Okay, alcohol blending solution. I've got it in a little, um, a little jar, basically, well, a container with a really fine tip applicator. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down. Um, so I'm going to lay down some colours. I'll go for the similar colours to before. So we'll go a bit for a bit of eggplant, just to show you the difference between sort of doing it on your gel plate and doing it on this actual UPO card. I must admit, I prefer doing it on my gel plate with the um, the hand the hand sanitizer. Basically, I just think it's I don't know. It's just it's easy. It's quick. You don't have to use such so many pungent, um, you know things within your piece and I sometimes find that when you pick it up it doesn't on this card it doesn't always pick how you want it to after you've used your um lifting and also I don't know I just I just find it's easier for it to get muddy on here okay so obviously that's me laying some colour and then if you go in with your blending solution just say it see it sort of activates it okay uh, makes it move around a little bit more can I put this this end on come on that's it done it okay see what I mean and then you can sort of roll it around get that sort of effect or you can go in and see I'm already the fumes oh so if you're like me and you are a bit you know you suffer a bit with things make you feel a bit a bit chesty then I would recommend using the the gel plate definitely so I'm just going in I'll put some um, of that lift ink on the end you see what I mean about kind of it I mean this is going muddy because I'm using this one which already has colours on the bottom but it's very easy I find on this paper I mean some people probably adore this paper it's just not for me really um, I mean obviously you know we all like to use our gel plate for things don't we so I think if we can use our gel plate then amazing so I'm just going in look there we go so you know it is creating a nice interesting background and again we can we can go in now and we can add a bit more of that blending solution I'm going to do this one more time because I just the smell of it oh well the the way it makes me feel not great so we get we get better cells, I would probably say, on here. But um, yeah, I just it's not necessarily for me. But I will show you what it looks like on a lift. So obviously this is just normal car. This is uh, thirty GSM. I'm going to lift it now and show you how how it lifts when you've just done it like that. And then I will also put some lifting on it just to show you what it comes up like. I'll probably surprise myself now and I'll be absolutely in love with this print, but <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Just seems more more tricky to me. Okay, so we've got that. Yeah, I do, I do like that, to be honest. I do really like that. So, but again, the fumes and oh, it's, um, it does look beautiful. And I'm sure if we manipulated the, the 
our colleagues on our plate further we could get similar results it's just that you know it's just I wanted to show you really quickly so so this can we should be able to pick this up again like I say with a bit of lifting you can keep using the UPO paper so that is one advantage of it so if we do this bring it down like I say you can't do it too many times because it will start bringing the actual ink down with it and again I'm going to go for it on the rice paper so I'm going to use this one. This is one of my um, image transfers that I did. And I'm just going to go in quickly and try and pick some off. I've never really lifted onto rice paper off UPO before. So that's, yeah, that's quite a delicate effect. I quite like that, to be honest. So if I do a little bit more, this is my last time. Oh, no, I don't use, don't use that one. I use this one, lifting. Thank goodness, because I don't like that one. I don't like the smell of that one. Oh, it gets to you. Okay, quickly bring your brayer down. See what I mean? It's it's smudging it down now, but I quite like that. So I'm going to go in this side. I don't want to affect my actual image. And again, we've got that sort, and we've got our line marks in, which I actually quite like for collage, to be honest. Okay, so we've added a bit more detail there. So this one as well that we just did is is dry now, to be honest. That's dried straight away. Okay. This one, like I say, we, we could use this um, as a base, but I've tried stamping onto UPO paper. This, it, just the ink will not, well, I think you need to use archival ink, basically. I used um, the VersaFine Clare and it just did not dry. Okay, so it took forever. It didn't, still wasn't dry. Um, so, it, again, it's a tricky, it's a tricky card to work with. Um, if you use the right tools, I'm sure you'll be fine, but for me, it's a bit, it's a bit too fussy I would say okay right so next video then I'm hoping that we can use the lift ink we can use some of our cling foam stamps we can use some rubber stamps let me see what I've got and um, did I chuck it in here yeah I did I have got my I've got some uh, paparazzi or paper artsy however you want to say it stamps that um, just some red stamps there that I can use and we'll see what we get so if you would like to let's just pop some of these so you're not just staring at my grotty mat which I kind of like because it is grungy okay so we've got uh, where are we Ugh. I've lost everything so I put it all under the rice paper there we go there we go so we've got those ones that we did we've got that one okay where was my Oh, anyway, there's some nice pictures for you to look at there. Okay, so please with those, um, if you would like to see more videos, then you can click on my um, profile picture at the top there. That will subscribe you to the channel. And um, please do subscribe. It doesn't cost anything to do that. If you look into it further as well and hit all notifications, it should tell you when I upload another video. Bottom left there, I will link to that original hand sanitizer and alcohol ink. Uh, video so you can watch that if you haven't already and I hope you're looking forward to that next alcohol lifting technique um, video for the for the gel plate and um, please do drop me any comments if you want to tell me what you've been doing if you want to tell me that you you love using the UPO paper rather than the gel plate it's up to you uh, but I do always respond to comments so I really enjoy chatting with you guys and I will see you in the next one happy crafting take care bye for now